Hello, I'm Roland Falco. I'm the creator of Approval Test, and today we're going to talk about verifying very simple objects and how to do that with Approval Test. So before we even get started, I want to first go to the whiteboard. We don't have a whiteboard here, so I'm just going to do it in Paint and talk about what is it? What is my test going to be? All right, this is a step that a lot of times is sort of skipped over, and I think it's really important to do. So here I'm going to make a tic-tac-toe board. You can see with my beautiful artistic skills here. Um, I'm going to place sorry, an X here. I'm going to place an O here. And then I'm going to place another X here. And that's going to be my entire test. Um, so first, let's take what we just did here. I'm going to need some way to refer to these squares. So I'm just going to do 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. And then we need to take what we did here, write it out in English. So I have a test all set up here. If you haven't seen the earlier versions on how to get started with your particular framework, go check those out now. Um, and now I'm going to write this in English, right? So we have the do and we have the verify. So what is the do? First, I uh, created a board. Then I placed an X. I forgot where I placed that. Over here in zero, zero. And then I placed an O over here in two, zero. And then finally, I placed one more X here at two, two. And finally, what do I need to verify? I need to verify the board. Great, so now that I have the English, I'm gonna turn this into code. So var b equals new tick tack toe board b dot place an x at zero zero so then I place an x here I duplicate that and move it down and duplicate it and move it down one more time and then here I have an o at two zero and then finally an x at two two and then when all is said and done I'm gonna say approvals dot verify the board. All right, so now that I've translated the English, I can get rid of that because it's no longer providing me any value. And now we got to start turning this into actual code. So first step first, let's create the class. You can see here that it will make some assumptions, which I'm going to get rid of. Um, we're going to create this method. This is going to be the piece. This is going to be the X. This is going to be the Y. And I'm just going to leave that empty for right now. Finally, we have to verify the board, which means I need to override the two string on this board. I'm going to start with this because we, while we have a nice spec now, we don't have any feedback. So we're going to go here and I'm going to use string utilities, display grid. I want a three by three grid. And then I need some function. So I need like a, say a get uh, square. Great, so let's create that method. And th this is just a delegate that I put here. This is gonna be an X, this is gonna be a Y. It could have been a lambda, not appropriate for this particular situation. All right, so now the question is, how do I get my X and Y? So I'm gonna need something that contains my X and Y and some way to get it. I could do this as an array, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is um, get it from a list of points. So some sort of list of points or hash of points or something like that, I guess a hash of points. Um, so I wanna return that. reference drawing so that I have point and I'm actually going to hold this oh you don't need to uh, so we're just going to get that out great and that means I need to have this board thing so I'm going to create a field and this of course would be a dictionary of point and 
string. And I should probably initialize this right away. Great. So I haven't really gotten very far in here yet, but I should be able to get a little bit of feedback. So I'm going to make sure that I've decorated here with the use reporter. And then we'll give this a run. Ooh, and we got some failure here. The given key was not present in the dictionary. All right, so before, you know, before we've gotten this to work, we have nice feedback saying, hey, I forgot that, you know, it's not just gonna return me an empty space if this is the case. So let's pull that out as a local variable and say, you know, if the board dot contains the key for the point, then I want to do that. Else, let's just return a simple space. And that's a little bit cumbersome, so I'm just gonna replace that with the return. So there we are. If the board contains the point, return the point, otherwise return that. And now I should be able to rerun my test and get some quick feedback. And, and it should just at this point be an empty board because I'm not doing anything. And indeed, this is what it is. I'm actually going to approve this at this point because I want better granularity when I go to my next feedback point, which is I want this place X to work. So here, I'm gonna say board new point X, Y equals piece. Let's run this test one final time. After that intermediate step, it should highlight right away. Yep, here's my X and my O is showing up. This is indeed what I want. So I'm gonna approve the whole thing. And there you are. Run it one more time and we'll see it pass. Approving simple objects. So before I close, I wanna highlight uh, Carl Manaster. Carl is a good friend. When I lived down in San Diego, we used to get together every Monday night and do programming for fun. And after one class where I had gotten very stuck, I'd had an acceptance test that was failing, but all my unit tests were passing. It's a very bad place to be. And I struggled uh, for quite a while in front of everyone as I was trying to figure this out. When I got back, I told Carl, and he just looked at me and said very simply, well, the first thing you did is write a good two string so you knew where you were. And I said, oh, God, yeah, that's exactly what I should have done. That's not what I had done. Um, and it was in, through these Monday nights that I really came to an appreciation of being able to understand the state of your system well through sort of good two strings and, and rich information. And, and it was that that eventually made me want to be able to actually verify that rich information directly. And it was actually with Carl on a Monday night that we made our very first inroads into approval tests at all, figuring out how to do the Golden Master comparisons and how to generate the files based on calls from underneath. So you can find him on Twitter, Carl Manister. Thanks very much. And as always, if you have questions about approval tests, tweet with the hashtag approval test. I monitor that frequently and answer you promptly.